Excuse me. Hey, Luxational. How's it going? Hi, Deborah. Sending out a few texts. Hold on for a second. Let me uh, put this on airplane mode. Okay. Oh, of course, I just sneeze right now. Do I have a tissue anywhere? It's like the allergies draining the atmosphere. The weather sucks, guys. My allergies are everywhere. I hate sniffling. You don't know, you know where I have my... I have... Oh, here they are. I have an entire box of tissues. Hey, Zena. Hey, Jennifer. Hey, Robin. Um, Keith. Hey, everybody. <laughs> Craig's lurking. He's having a bad, you know, chat day. Um, I hope you all had a great day. Ah, uh, sorry about that. But, oh, my God. The weather. This weather, y'all. Um, Texas. It's overcast. It may or may not be sunny for the... Well, it's not going to be clear for the eclipse. Um, so whatever. But something's blowing in, guys. It's like, oh, I hate spring. I mean, I love spring. The wildflowers are great. But same time, y'all. Same time. This, this... What a what the bipolar is going on with the weather, right? Oh my gosh. Hey, Miss Jelly. Hey, everybody. The weather. I know, right? I can't. It's like, it was like, it's going to be a low of 50 something with a high of 80. How do you dress for 50 something to 80? You know? Yes, spring rain attacks my mic. I know, I know. My atmospheric press pressure changes and my back is yelling and screaming at me. So I wanted to give an update on the Hayden. So this is the coolest foam bag I have ever had, ever, like ever. It does have one flaw for me. The dog leash clips. Now, Jolie, she's not in here, but she'll probably see this on the replay. She and I have the same issue. This dog leash clip, it sometimes comes undone. So I added um, a way to extend a little bit so it wasn't quite so um, right here. So it helps a little bit. I can't believe I had to turn mine on in the beginning of April, <laughs> AC, yeah, yeah, it's 80 degrees here, our, our AC's been on, um, <clears throat> so this little denim bag is amazing, um, it is leather lined for those who don't know, which I didn't know, because normally the Haydens are leather or canvas, go to canvas, so this is leather lined, um, my, my co-worker saw it, she's like, Jackie, that's a really small bag for you. And I'm like, yes, I know, right? But it's the best foam bag. So <laughs> she'll probably buy it for her actual purse. Um, Brian says, I have the heat on 80. Are you kidding? It's like, we have the air conditioning on, guys. We've had the air conditioning on. What in the world are you? Um, but anyway, this is um, the most coolest, awesomest foam bag I have ever had. And I need to change this loop. I was wearing this. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm making it. I have a couple extra rings I added so that this hopefully won't catch and fall off. So this dog leash clip is a really annoying. But other than that, this bag is amazing. I love it. Um, it is the best phone bag. Now, as a handbag for me heck no too small too small it would never work i don't care if it has card slots in there it's too small but for something to hold myself i'm taking off my my sweater guys um pennsylvania it's been cold and damp here pn says you can use clear heat shrink to the whole oh you know i haven't bought that yet that i've seen other people do that the shrinking tube stuff um but that on my RL Macy satchel, the class stays in place. You know, guys, that Marcy satchel, sorry, the Marcy satchel. There is a Marcy shop. Sh uh, blah, blah. If anybody's looking for a black Marcy 
satchel from Ralph Lauren. It was two days ago, at least, on Goodwill Finds for $50. It took everything in me not to buy it. I don't normally go shopping when I'm not trying to shop. I'm trying to stay off everything. And I fell down the dang rabbit hole and I looked and I posted it to my friend's group. I said, friends, somebody buy this and save me. This is a bag that sells for like $475. Somebody please buy this bag. <laughs> so it's on the Goodwill finds for $50, guys. I'm like, okay, I can't, I can't, I cannot buy the same bag I have twice. I cannot buy the exact same bag I have twice. It had been any other color. So God saved me on this one because it's the exact same one I had. Oh, it was it was is rough. Um, Maria says, "Hi, friends. Sorry, I can't stay. Just wanted to say hi. I'm just neck deep in schoolwork. Uh, oh, go get some work done. Get some sleep. I stayed away from Goodwill Finds. Yeah, I know, I know, because you know Goodwill Finds. Um, I like it that you can just buy something, but their shipping, handling fees, and their processing fees can be high, really high sometimes. But you know." And then, and then, of course, I go into that, well, it's for charity. And by the way, I'm live today because, well, Super Day can normally go live on, Wednesday, live on Wednesdays, but he went live yesterday. So, hey, free night. So I wanted to, just to come say hi to everybody. Um, I had a hell of a day at work. Like, oh, my gosh. Um, Keith says I scored some amazing pirates at Goodwill Fights. Yeah. I love Pyrex. Kitchenware is my favorite thing to look for at any Goodwill, Salvation Army, thrift store, anything. Uh, but the, oh, the shipping is, especially for anything glass. And then not only is it insane, hey, Grace, for shipping, if it's heavy like Pyrex, you just hope and pray it doesn't break. You know, you just hope and pray. Um, hey, Miss Jelly, I know, right? I figured, you know what? A lot of us watch Super Dacob, and I'm like, I'm just going to go live. I don't know. He had something to do today. Yesterday, I had um, was in Winnie's <laughs> Winnie BLV's live with Miss Dee Dee Bean, and oh my gosh, the 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 tea that was spilled. Like Miss Dee Dee, I have had dinner with you and your husband. I'm not sure I can look at your husband the same way anymore after that cruise story, guys. <laughs> I'm like Dee Dee. We are no longer doing a cruise. <laughs> Jacob isn't live today. No, Grace. He was live yesterday. He went live Tuesday. So there's like a three hour video. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> it was hilarious. But I really enjoyed the health talk the whole time about the different health things. And like, um, it, it's like, don't worry, I will not embarrass him. But really, it was like, I cannot look at you the same way anymore. <laughs> Um, I keep buying stuff from Dress Up Your Purse. Melody has just put her ca something dupes in her store. Really? But didn't I want, I still want um, Dress Up Your Purse. I want Melody to still do the tote in turquoise. It's like, why? Why only give me the little pouch in turquoise? It's never in stock. I want it in turquoise. But you know, to be honest, Ooh. it is it is um we have fallen off the wagon it's not like it was i didn't go completely insane crazy like i had um it's a day-by-day -day struggle day-by-day -day struggle my i getting off ebay has really helped um the constant looking constant searching i haven't made any 3 a.m purchases every day i think i text craig and say craig, i didn't buy anything today yay because normally what not know what i do now is when i wake up at 3 a.m which i do almost like every day i either wake up between at midnight or between three midnight and three at some point i'll just text him <laughs> and i'll go look at bags but i'll send them to him <laughs> instead of buying them um i just left the site and ordered that Really? Okay, now I have to go see. Um, I don't know what a Calvi dupe is. Um, hey, Cammy, Cammy, I have not seen your ugly bag video yet, but so far from what I've seen between Don and Yota, Miss Yota's is hideous. <laughs> that bag is hideous. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be looking at yours before I go to bed tonight. Um, the toiletry fifteen. Oh, nice. Uh, you go down. You got the SLG Don. Uh, asked Miss Jelly. So I do have a little unboxing. I'll just go right into it um, because I'm really interested to see how this goes. This is a, this I bought like a week. I ordered it like last week or something. And I wasn't 
I was on Facebook. I wasn't looking, and I saw an advertising, and I'm like, wait a minute. I've never seen that. And it's not like it's like, Tammy wins hands down. Okay, then I'm really excited, for Craig, to see what she picked, because Yoda's bag is ugly. I mean, creepy ugly. Like, I wouldn't even put groceries in that bag. Yes, Yoda's was gross. Mine <laughs> was pretty fugly. Good night. <laughs> Good night, Gammy. Um, so what I ordered was a bypass ring. And I got this from um, QVC. And I'm not a huge QVC shopper. I've never been a huge QVC shopper. But I've always looked because um, they both carry, I think they both carry um, Dooney. I can't, I always get QVC and HSN confused. But I think it's QVC um, because it has a, it has a packing slip. Let's see what it says. It has a return slip already printed out. And I paid $49 for this item. It's a Diamondique. So Diamondique is like fake, you know, I don't know, diamond. It's like not a diamond, but looks like a diamond. Who knows? With And it's called a double cut bypass ring with burst stone. And I got it in silver. And I just really like the way it looked. Mainly because every time I wear I've been currently wearing this 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 heart ring right here and every single time i wear this heart ring whenever my sister sees it she wants it because it's purple my grandmother's birthstone was amethyst my sister's favorite color is purple one of them purple and green are her favorite colors and she named her kiddo violet so now she thinks she owns the color violet uh, i think they're together now qvc and hsn wow that's cool yeah i think they both carry um then this qvc that carries i always go look because qvc has um specials with a dooney that doesn't the dooney doesn't carry they're just made for for qvc i also pre-ordered melody's dupes for the regular and mini micro pochette matisse really that's what color did you get i need to know so this is this is the ring well this is the ring that got me I've never really had a ring like this before, but I really like the blue stone with the white stone. I prefer colored stones in general, but I wanted to change out this ring. I guess QVC Nation are one QVC only. Oh, okay. QVC only carries Dooney. The QVC is the one I know. So this is the one by um, a person called, he's a designer out of Thailand and it's J-A-I. And I like his stuff a lot. And um, I bought this pre-loved, but this one I bought, you know, it's just a sterling silver ring. But look at that. That's pretty. I like that. I'm very happy with that. So we'll wear, we'll wear that for a while. We'll see how it goes. Some of the rings I have purchased from like Timu and stuff for a couple dollars, they're plated, but I wear the plating off because I'm the acidity of my skin is high. My birthstone is is purple amethyst. Okay, yeah. So so with my aunt, my grandmother's. So this is the new jewelry. Um, hopefully it. I like it. I'll take a better picture and put it on my, um, and for $50, it's a sterling silver, you know, ring, which I can wear because I'm so, like, ridiculously, I can't wear fake jewelry. I never could because of my skin. I am, um, will corrode it. So everything I've had my whole life has always been sterling silver, gold, or right now, like, this is stainless steel because stainless steel now well, honestly, because sterling silver has become more expensive, they've actually come out with a lot more stainless steel jewelry. Stainless steel jewelry has always been kind of like the men's line, but the refinement of the of it has only it's not been great historically, but now it is because it is so expensive to make a heavy gauge sterling silver that a lot of places are making heavier gauge for men um, chains like this. So. Anyway, this is this is somebody asked about my jewelry the other day, so I'm just gonna show it. And um, I do have a Timu Timu haul. I'm gonna sit here and just open up because I just I need to get it out. I need to get it open. I don't want to film another video. I do need to start filming more videos. I only have a month. Like the end of April will be the end of my pre-filmed videos. I think I might have three or four more that I haven't posted yet, but. Um, Anyway, this is my Timu haul. A lot of what's in here is bag related. This is all mostly purse related and shoe related. That's what I like. I, I like buying the most. I bought the dupe for the toiletry fifteen twenty six some time ago, and because 
Don Lov Torch bought the coach dupes for the 19. I was waiting to see if Melody would come out with it. Nope. Yeah. I'm not, um, I almost bought, okay. I did, okay, my bag, my channel might be changing a little bit because once I get done with my April videos, we're going to see, hey, Jolie, um, I was talking about you earlier, hun. I don't know if you heard me. Um, I was telling them about this bag and my dog leash clip issue with this. It Mine came off too, twice today. I was like, err, but somebody suggested I use a shrink tube heated shrink tube which i don't have i'll have to buy some and to see if they work and melody needs to dupe the lv packaging packaging cubes oh my gosh yes um what did you think of the toiletry 15 dress up your purse um yeah so i'm a little annoyed with with it coming undone but anyway i have some timu things to open up and show y'all because i just need to get into this i have some this is a repair kit this leads me right into something i need to talk about one of the bags i have has a, a button snap that needs to be replaced this will do that i this is just a kit to, to replace that button snap and um hopefully i'll have to probably change it to a larger gauge so it uh, anyway i'm gonna do some more repairs in videos on my channel because i've gotten some feedback like today's video people were really they like the how to clean suede you know because it's people are afraid of suede some people are just afraid of doing anything with a bag because it's like oh i might ruin it well when you spend twenty dollars on a bag i'm willing i'm willing to risk ruining it so i bought a twenty dollar bag today off and it's coming and i only bought it while well, i want the style and i'd been looking at it and i felt like it was abandoned and i really wanted to rescue it and i really wanted to see if i could restore it and i really 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 just like the bag so i'm like if i don't do this this bag is just gonna sit here i've been watching it for two months anyway uh, <laughs> i'm afraid of suede nightmares and <laughs> <laughs> Lenora, that was a good video um Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna do some more cleaning and restoring videos. I have a couple project bags coming in the mail um, that are leather. With um, since I got that Amadex, which I can't figure out where I put, I have some interior cleaning to do, and then I have some exterior cleaning to do. Things I got for a really amazing deal. Because if we're talking about buying pre love, these are the bags get passed over because oh, there's corner damage. Oh, or and I want to do the one I'm buying that's coming out it has corner wear to the point i'm probably gonna have to do a leather dye uh paint a leather paint to clean up after i clean it and see if i could i mean hey if i don't try it on a 20 dollar bag i'm sure as heck not gonna try it on some other bag and guys that 20 dollar bag was like a thousand dollars at one point so might as well try it i only have hot pink suede bag from fossil i love fossil underrated company um Yes, I told you I love your cleaning fixing videos. Yeah, it might as well. It, uh, you said that a few other people have DDV. A few other people have mentioned it. So here's the other thing I have on here. Hey, I didn't know I got like Lame Gold Lame. Look at this. I thought it was more on the silver side, but what possessed me to get this? I'm not sure. Um, this is a braided um, kind of, this is a very pretty really shiny gold braided handle top handle bag um decoration i like that i'm gonna use, i'll find a real i'll find some i'll find a place to use that um i have the toilet 15 dupe but i have a ton of pouches i really glad that fomo didn't make me track down the louis vuitton, louis vuitton version man louis vuitton i can't i can't i love i love them i love louis louis awesome louis is expensive girl I mean, this is the Year of the Dragon a purse twilly because I really like, I thought this would be really pretty on, on some of my blue bags, not necessarily my red bags, but my blue bags. Um, and I think I, I buy, I always buy these in pairs because I like them to match. So, and I really like dragons in general. <clears throat> it's funny. I've always liked, like, these are a bunch and I use these all the time. These are shoe inserts. I used to buy these exact same shoe inserts their art supports from amazon the exact same ones it was 15 dollars per these are four dollars per yes so every shoe i own has a pair of inserts in them um and these ones work the best for me um and i got cleaning 
first cleaning supplies. These are horsehair brushes. Um, I'm going to use that with some, you know, at cleaning bags. And then I got a bunch of these. Because um, these are my favorite. <laughs> I can't help it. I have to stop doing it, though. I love these little dinosaurs so much. If I could have a little dinosaur on every single bag I had, I'd be so happy. Um, they're just my favorite. This is... Um, I thought they'd be bigger than this. That's okay. This is to put um, tea in. These are filter bags for tea. Um, I have a lot of loose leaf tea, and at the office, sometimes it's, it's kind of a, a mess, so that will help me. They're drawstring um, bags, filter bags. And I have some silk ones, or silk-like ones, but I didn't find them in time, and then I bought those. And then I found them because that's the way it works, right? And I have like several sets of these shoe things. So, ah, this is a gold pearl um, purse decoration. Purse jewelry, guys. Purse jewelry. Um, I like decorating purses. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. I love loose leaf tea. Yes, loose leaf tea is the best. It's actually, so I drink a loose leaf tea, not very expensive. Um, actually, okay, so Keith, I drink Hernie and Sons tea. I've also bought tea from Upton, um, Upton Tea Supplier. They're a wholesaler, a wholesaler retailer. And I also, and I tend to really like oolong tea. Oolong tea is some of my favorite. Hey, Juice Jam. Um, and I really, and you, so here's the thing about, okay, so, Loose leaf tea doesn't taste different. Bag tea is the dust of tea leaves. Literally the dust of tea leaves. So tea leaves, you can steep and drink tea leaves in one. Like I'll just throw it in a cup and let it steep. I can drink that same cup of tea three or four times with the same amount of tea leaves in it. I don't have to change out the tea all the time. Now, that's super lazy, Jackie, because I didn't have a strainer with me. So, And with whole leaf teas, you can just put them in the cup, throw the water on top, and it's fine. You don't actually have to strain and filter it out, and I like super strong black tea. So I drink black tea. My favorite tea is oolong, then black tea. I'm not a huge fan of the green tea. I have to be in the mood. I have to be excellent quality green tea. I love jasmine tea, but sometimes I can get bitter. I have love tea. I love all the tea. Herbal tea is not tea, guys. There is one plant that is a tea plant. Herbal tea, herbal is not tea. <laughs> Must be a tea. <laughs> um, I love tea for my, my, um, marriage ferris they are good i don't send me send me a link of them keith what kind do you like um i make all kinds of tea yeah lipton is junk i mean in a pinch it's great for iced tea but it's not good tea um i can't seem to find loose leaf tea oh no you can't at heb i order mine I order mine. I do not, I don't even bother with H-E-B. H-E-B is ridiculous. H-E-B can, you can get good tea for iced tea, which is junk. I mean, black powdered tea, because it's essentially dust of the leaf. And tea, green, um, okay, all the tea is just based on how it's processed. It's all the same tea. So the green tea is the same as black tea. It's just that black tea has been oxidized. I don't like Assam tea, which is another way of doing it. I don't like smoked in my tea. I do not want it roasted. No, thank you. I like black tea, strong black tea. I love it with milk. Okay, don't come for me. Um, I love tea. and But when I was in Asia, when I was living in Thailand, it's mostly all oolong tea. And then we would just put some jasmine flowers in there. Uh, what I love about tea is I can drink tea hot or cold. I'm fine with it. Coffee must only be super hot or cold. I can't do in between. Uh, <laughs> I love chamomile. Cussy chamomile It's not tea. Chamomile is an herb. And Chamomile is very popular in Asia. My uncles made me drink a lot of chamomile drinks. I cannot stand chamomile. Hate it. Hate it. Or chrysanthemums. Um, it's yummy and almost like an experience having a cup. <laughs> I love tea. <laughs> but here's here's the purse story. It has gold. I have I should have got the one that was silver, but I don't know why I got the gold. Maybe because that was what was available. 
Let's see. I have another cleaning brush. This is a tool to use for edge coat because I needed, um, I had already put this in my cart, so I already have one. So I have a second edge coat tool. Um, Grace says, I love chrysanthemums. Yes. Um, this is a metal polish, which I'm going to see if I want to even try it. I'm going to try this in one of my beat up purses and see if that restores anything. Um, I have another. Yay! Let me open, 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 open. Um, Jackie, when you drink tea, do you drink it in a fancy tea? I used to. Um, and then I broke a cup. But at home, I do. At home, I will drink out of teacups. I actually have a huge teacup collection. Teacups and coffee cups are not the same thing. And uh, teapots and coffee pots are not the same thing. They have different shapes. And also, um, when it comes to tea at work, I use heavy ceramic. You don't actually want to brew tea in stainless steel. It ta it changes the flavor of the tea. You want to use it in glass or ceramic. You really, really do not. Just do a taste, taste test. Brew a cup of tea in porcelain and then brew a cup of tea in, in stainless steel and you'll taste the difference. You really will. Um, share here guys see some friends um i do keith it's a whole deal uh very good digestion basically help i know i know the chrysanthemum tea when you drink tea do you drink it with fancy yeah um has the best collection of rare teapots and tea oh who who has the best collection of rare teapots and teacups I don't do rare so much as they're just old and you can always find them. People always have teapots and teacups places and, and the kids don't do it. People don't brew tea in, in um, pots anymore. Well, I mean, I do, but a lot of people don't. They're just, you know, I, I do it all. I have tea leaves in a cup. I use a teapot. I have, um, I have all the things guys, all the things. I uh, tea with a first love, still a love. I had five cups of tea today. I actually drink more tea than coffee. And y'all know I love my coffee. <laughs> like, coffee is a thing. Stainless steel is no, no, no. Yeah, stainless steel is no, no, no. Like, you can drink stainless steel. Like, a double wall stainless steel cup is fine for iced tea. Because iced tea is just... It's just iced tea, guys. It's not supposed... It's supposed to be drunk pretty fast and a little refreshing. It's not the end of the... It's not supposed to... It, it's fine, but if you really want to enjoy the flavor of tea, you really have to use it in ceramic or glass. Um, oh, your friend on Instagram, Silver Keith is silver tea set bad. Um, see, I always had tea in a silver tea set when we were growing up, but we usually used that mostly for coffee. Um, Sorry for all the plastic sounds. I'm opening all the little plastic bags. Um, Keith, the ornamental hermit. I love coffee too. That that and a margarita. I love margaritas also. I love the lime. You know, I actually like margaritas uh, without. Um, this is a really good brush, by the way. This is a horsehair, and it says 100% horsehair. Uh, this I got this off Timu, and this one also. I wanted two different colors because I wanted to use um, one for applying something and one for doing something else, and I didn't want to mix them too much. Um, but you can just always wash the horsehair bristles. It's in soap. It's it's like it's totally cool, guys. Um, they use horsehair because it doesn't. It's not. It's um. It's not as it's softer than a nylon because nylon's plastic, you know. So, and it's the natural, it, it helps move the oils to distribute in your grains of your bags and for for leathers, you know. And also the other thing is if you use like boar bristles, too too scratchy, you know. So horsehair is actually the the kind of of brush you want to use for leather. Hey Frozen, how's it going? Hello, Saya. My husband perked up listening to tea conversation. It's his obsession because tea is amazing. Tea is amazing. I love tea. Uh, you can have you can be you can I can have like the worst day ever and just sit down with a hot cup of tea. 
love tea. I was drinking hot oolong tea in Southeast Asia when it's like a bazillion degrees outside. We all drank hot tea, guys. It wasn't um, most half my family's you know, Chinese too. So it's just a thing. It's the beverage of choice and it's refreshing. Well, what they do is so you drink hot. Well, there's a couple of reasons why you drink hot boiling water tea um, is one, it kills the bacteria in the water because w- growing up we drank a lot of rainwater or um rainwater <laughs> so you had to boil the water right so you boil the water you brew the tea you serve the tea by drinking hot boiling tea in a very hot human place you actually cool off because it helps you perspire and that's what cools you off you know and it's and, and everybody had it so you just have tea um Sorry, what happened to your life? Thought it was my Wi-Fi for me. Oh, were you in a live? Did I miss something? I just kind of jumped in here because uh, Mr. Jacob went early yesterday. It's totally a thing. We have all sorts of teapots and accessories, accessories for him. Yeah, uh, I got a spam call and it just made my phone freeze. Oh, dear. Um, oh, I like your pink planner jolie jolie has oh i have more stickers i love stickers these are more of my floral stickers i have a lot of these i really love stickers i didn't know how much i love stickers until timu because i've never been able to buy like 50 of a thing before um hey steph i'm a coffee fiend oh i drink see that's the thing i drink both i drink when i'm out and about i'll drink coffee if i can get an espresso like a latte i'm i'm so happy so happy but and if i don't trust the tea um like i don't get tea out in america unless it's iced tea because like hot tea it's just like ta- tazo tea and i don't like tazo tea it's like yes i am that tea snob you know, drinking warm tea and hot tea with meals. Yeah, that's actually, um, Grace, you're Chinese, right? Because that's, I've been told that my whole life. Like, don't drink anything cold with your food. Um, the Chinese part of the family, the Thai part of the family, are like, drink, they will drink ice water. But the age, the Chinese part of the family is like, you don't drink cold beverages with your meals. You drink, you always have a soup with your meals and you always have a hot beverage. It helps, again, with your digestion. It helps. They have a whole thing about the um, heating and cooling of the in- in- inside of your body, right? I love stickers. I get a book, a big pack, like all the ones I love, and I give the rest to my nephew. That's cool. Nancy said, or I miss that. Nancy, I'm obsessed with watching high tea vlogs in London. I want to go try tea in London. But you know what's funny? I always tell people, guys, tea comes from China. It's grown very often in India or China. <laughs> and it's like, oh, British tea. I'm like, you know, no, it's imported, right? Just just one just just saying that plant is particular where it wants to grow. Um, did you see the videos from Yoda, Cami, and Dawn, the ugly bags? Frozen luxury. Okay, so I haven't seen Cami's, but I did see Dawn's. And by the way, I like Dawn's bag. And I like Yoda's was just ugly. That bag give give me nightmares. I haven't seen Cami's yet. We always have broth with our meals. Yes. Um, Nancy says, Grace Chen, he has one. He got it at Stash Tea Place for him, from us. Oh, tea in London, drunk with the scones is so bougie. I know, right? I want the scones. Uh, Craig, Jackie, show your new... Oh, yes, yes. Where did I put it? It's not alive if I don't see... Oh, it's right here. Right in front of me. Um, so this came in the mail yesterday. Uh, Craig and I are now twins. He has this bag, this exact same bag, and I now have this exact same bag. Look at how beautiful this bag is. You know, okay, I need to stuff it some more. But look at how beautiful this bag is. Um, yeah. This is just the most, and it has some corner wear, but this bag is of its vintage. It's fine. It's cool. It's gorgeous. This bag's gorgeous. This is going to so fit my computer without any problem. Um, this I wish Coach would come up with this handle structure again. I love this handle. This handle is everything on this bag. This this bag is so cool. I love this bag. This is the coolest bag. Um, it's just, it's classy. And it's understated, and it's just, it's just a beautiful bag. And the color, the color. Yes, it's a burrow bag. 
I know frozen luxury. Craig and I have the exact same bags. We he has one and I have one in the same color, same size. Um so we are both very happy about that because we like twinning. It's fun. It's, one of these days we're going to meet up and we're going to have the same bags. <laughs> I was supposed to meet Dee Dee Bean and to bring my, 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 um, we were supposed to have the same bags because we both had the same bags and I forgot. It was not the best weekend for me. I was totally failing <laughs> the large burrow. I know, right? Um, it scones with that thick cream, strawberry jam, London. British afternoon tea. This is this is a nice um tool. This is a tool I use for the edging um for edge coat. Love the leather and the color tone is to die for, right? I'm I'm a sucker for a brown leather bag anyway. Um <laughs> yes, <laughs> Dee Dee, we still have to set up a date for this month. April, since we missed we totally missed March. March is crazy. Infinity, have you seen all my videos on that bag from nine years ago. I have not seen all your videos, but I've seen some of them, Saya. Um, Saya has a whole bunch of videos on the burrow bag. It's it's a bag that they made, um, you know, ten years ago, and it's a beautiful, beautiful build. I think they really need to. That's a bag they should re-release, like literally re-release. It's like bring this one back. You know, I just bought a dark brown leather bag after swearing not to buy it grace what bag did you buy keith it hit me like a brick wall today that we are actually into the fourth month of the year already i know i know um more shoe inserts i have i think i bought six pair i had bought a bunch of new shoes and hadn't bought any um inserts for them so i wasn't wearing them and i could just switch my inserts between shoes but let's be honest in the morning i am not i'm just lucky to get out the door um, hey, I did get some new shirts. So I got some new, um, these are Ralph Lauren undershirts, men's undershirts. So they're not the Ralph Lauren um, regular t-shirts. And the difference is the men's t-shirts that are just meant to not sold in their leisure wear undershirts you know, for pajamas has the horse on the breast, pot, breast area where on these shirts is at the hem. And I'm like, oh, thank goodness. I cannot stand having the horse on my chest because I get too much attention up here anyway. I really don't want to have the horse up there. So I was like, yeah, I'll wear these men's undershirts. And, and they're 100% cotton. They were on sale at Macy's, a pack of three for... um. $30, $35, $30, maybe $25. I don't remember, guys. I bought I bought two sets. I bought six t-shirts for essentially $70. There we go. And they're 100% cotton. And I've lost enough weight that my Timu shirts are hanging off me. They look like some of those shirts need to be just retired. Um, Grace says, I love Gucci shopping tote and double bamboo handle. Looks so much better in my arms and supposed to be long strap. Yeah. My ride and die brown tone bag is the Mulberry Small Base Water Satchel in oak. Um, hey, you know, I have, I sold my base water. It actually went over to Linda Passos. She has it. I don't know if she has it yet. It's probably still flying over. Um Jackie, I love the shade of brown above your left shoulder, above your left shoulder, the weak. Oh, that one. Let me show you that one, um, MT. This one, this is the company that makes the Alto bags for Dooney, but this is their, so, the, so Dooney doesn't make this dye, this laser cut bag anymore, but they make the shape and the camellia. Um, so... This is that bag. This color is so is everything. I love this color. Um, really, um, I love it so much that I bought an oak and another one, which is cream, but I can't remember what color. Oh, the base water is a mulberry icon. Yeah, I sold my, my base water to um, Linda because I have two bags, two other bags from... Yes, okay, so Jolie, the base water I sold was actually made in britain one and it was the old one not the new one but let me show you the two bags i do have
So I had showed you my Alexa already, but this is actually my favorite mulberry bag. More than the Alexa. This is in the Darwin. They call it the Darwin leather. And it's just, this is one of those made in England bags also. The leather on this bag is just amazing. Amazing. Yeah. So I, and you know, guys, I sold, jo um, no, not Julie, I sold Linda a blue base water blue i let go of a blue bag guys i have turned a new leaf i could have traded for another older i'm sorry jolie i didn't know i did not know i do have an alexa and i have this one but this is my favorite out of all the mulberry bags i own this is the one i love the most um great i just well here's the thing i sold linda passos my Bayswater made in england bag that went back to England. <laughs> so this is the um, Darwin leather. I don't know the name of the style of the bag, but I love this. Let me get. Let me grab my. Um, have I have the Alexa? Um, yes, the Alexa. This one, this is my, um, this is my second favorite. This, I like the other one because the leather's a little thicker, that Darwin type leather. It's just awesome. This is, this is still super cool, super chill, very slouchy. The color is phenomenal. And this is also made in England. No, wait, this one might be made in Turkey. Let me double check. Let me check. Let me check. I don't remember. It's been a while since I've used her. This one is a, yeah, this one's made in Turkey. So that one was made in England and the, uh, the base water was made in England. Yeah. But I haven't seen Linda for a few days. Um, when it was hot. Prince of Schuller. Um, it went back to the motherland. Yeah, it did. It did. And it was funny because I didn't think she would want it because I actually didn't know anything about Mulberry. I started buying this uh, several years ago, pre-pandemic, um, before they kind of, I didn't know they got bought out again or whatever, or whoever bought them or, I don't know. I didn't know they weren't being made in England. And, you know, then I was watching Style by Gwenny and she said some stuff. And then I realized I got super lucky getting this one because this one only cost me like $200, uh, not $1,700, but $200. And um, I loved, and look at it. It's in great condition. You know, the base water was $330. Um when I bought it several years ago, it was an absolutely beautiful, beautiful bag. But um, I like my Rickies more. And so it was, it just wasn't getting used. And I have so many bags. So I had mentioned it and I think somebody else was going to buy it. And then I had mentioned it to Linda and Linda says, what, what, you were going to sell that bag? I'm like, yeah. She goes, I'd love to buy the bag. Like, I didn't know you wanted that bag. Like, sure, I'll sell it to you. So that's where that went. And never even, I never told anybody really. Um flap type style bags i love the braid strap on that bag yeah it's it's a gorgeous bag this is um they still make this but um yeah mulberry was cheap at one stage it's it's because they got um yeah the made in england is better i think this one is buffalo i can't remember um j what hermes 2424 another flap style satchel but really, between these two bags, that Darwin bag, the leather on that Darwin bag is just amazing. I just got a burrow for $25 on Posh, sent you a DM, Frozen Luxury, sir, wait a minute, are you, are you, are you making up with Coach? Um, what size is that? I honestly don't know. Let me look at, let me get a tape measure out. So this is 12 inches. This is a 12 inch by nine inch and it has a long strap on the inside i really like this bag but i really like the darwin bag more um i like them both but between that surprisingly i like those more than the um Bayswater. i'm trying to look for the bag okay 
I bought another bag, guys. I fell off the bandwagon. It wasn't extreme. It wasn't the end of the world. James was with me. He knew what I was doing. We went to go pick up Milo's ashes. And I says, and Milo's vet is near the coach, or not a coach, the Dooney and Burke outlets in San Marcos, Texas. So we we, we drove down there. Um, and it's vintage and a precursor to the Evelyn. Oh, is that the 2424 you're talking about? Old memory bags I don't know about um Winnie but Winnie the Asian Hermes lover YouTuber yes uh frozen luxuries on fire yeah $25 burrow I want that's awesome so for me I would probably put an organizer in it um no so this is the bag I purchased yesterday this is a sample sale bag so when this bag originally came out I did not like this bag um, this is the Western bag from Dooney and Burke. I did not realize this, but this is metal. The gold detailing in here is metal. But my Great Dane was always compared to a horse. So I they always call it, oh, the horse and the little guy, because that's what they would call him. And um, so this to me is, this represents my dog, guys. And the fact that it was there, because it was a sample sale, they had gotten 15 boxes in and... I had already sold through 10 boxes. I showed up on the fifth day and yeah, this, I got this back for $100. Oh, and the charm, the duck charm. Yeah. They sell this at Dooney. This is a Dooney duck charm. Yeah. It's very heavy. It is very heavy. This cannot go on some of my other bags because it would just drag everything down. But luckily with this, this ring, it worked. So I used this bag today. Um, and the other thing it has in here is it has a blue bandana lining. So they don't make this bag anymore, but you can still find this bag in places. Perfect for Texas love. It. I know I love it. James hates it. <laughs> James actually grew up in the country. He didn't quite like it. Um, saw it on Facebook this morning. So cute. Yeah, my Milo bag. I'm emotionally sentimental, guys. Um, see, but I see I find a Kelly Brooklyn 2 briefcase like too structured for me and too serious and seriously looking says grace oh that's a sweet tribute beautiful shade of blue yeah the blue is beautiful uh birkin can be slouchy though if you get the right leather which leather is the slouchy one because i like the slouchy one um plus that flash is so too fussy um i'm gonna keep going through this bag thing because i need to get the bag out of my life um what else do I have in here? Why did I buy post-its? Did I buy post-its? What are these? I think I bought post-its. I'm going to have to look at my order and see why did I buy post-its. Let's take a look. Oh, no, 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 no. Guys, I bought gold leaf. This is gold leaf sheets. Gold leaf sheets. I'm going to try and do some gold leafing. I need to get the right bonding agent and do some gold leafing on. I have a Ferragamo bag. I have a gold paint, but that's actually gold leaf. And there's a way you can apply it. So we'll see. Um, Togo and Clements is slouchy. Um, Swift Clements are slouchy. Um, Togo is actually stiffer than Clements Frozen, but... Togo does loosen up over time. How much time? Like, gold leaf. Fancy pants. I know, right? Gold leaf is actually really cheap. <laughs> it's surprising. <laughs> I watch, I love watching videos of how things are made. Oh, and I got some blue dragons, because why not? We have blue dragons. Um, anyway, I actually have the Mulberry Taylor satchel, which is Kelly shape, but with a zipper so that it's my answer have a structure and slouchy so the the stuff i had the retina is slouchy frozen oh i have more stickers apparently i bought a couple packages of floral stickers um i like adding them to mail when i mail things out the bleed is my favorite grace i want the bleed one of these days one of these days um one year but it really depends on how often you use your bags okay like me that a year's not enough <laughs> And how rough you are with your bags depends on how. Um, what did I order? Oh, I have some beads for my 
my bracelet. I'm going to have to play with that um, because of, well, gravity. <laughs> Slouchy. And here's a big paw, paw print. I was in my my feel, so I got paw print. We almost, everybody has been trying to give us dogs. Like, oh, here's this dog and here's that dog. And I keep showing James pictures of dogs. And he's like, no. Why did I buy this little bit of leather? I definitely misread those measurements. One meter. Why? This is for jewelry making. I definitely need to relook at. Why did I buy that? I'm sure I bought this for something, and I don't remember. I should write this stuff down. I have said that slouchy hair man's leather. I do love box caps. I love box cap. Box caps is so cool. Um, but having said that, slouchy hair man's leather. I love. Do you guys watch Love Luxury? I watched their, um, oh, I have some more mink oil I ordered. I wanted to see how this stuff stood up to compare to the stuff I have. Um, Box is beautiful, my holy grail. Um, Birkin 40 in Barrenia with palladium hardware. Um, Barrenia is the most beautiful leather ever known to mankind. <laughs> Frozen says, unpopular opinion. I thought someone... Someone's ugly bag video was a poor taste and mean that someone's son's that someone's son's brother, dad, or oh that one? I don't know who that picture is, but that was a bad that was a very ugly bag. I mean, I don't even want to put vegetables in that bag. Um but yeah, somebody put that photo and made a bag out of it. You know. Hopefully the model made money off that. I hear you. I love the Oh, I have a gold chain, but that's before I found my other gold chain. Um, so, Jolie, um, Don Loves Couture, Yoda Styles, and Candy's Closet are having a competition for the ugliest bag, and they both put an ugly bag up for vote. And I haven't seen Cammy's yet, but I thought Don Loves Couture's bag was actually pretty. So, yeah, what do I know? Um, hey, Vivian. Grace, um, I would like to see Berenia in person, to be honest. Oh, yeah, you did. I'm actually still unboxing things, honestly. I bought, I got a ring. I got the ring. It's, it's, um, sorry, the glare. Maybe if I cover my face. That is a diamond neek, so it's like fake diamond, but it's sterling silver. So that's what I needed. It's a bypass ring. It looks really good, right? Dawn's back. I know, Frozen. I thought Dawn's back. Oh, and these are these are something I needed to buy. This is what I need to use. This is a tool that you use for dyeing. And um, I know I probably need to buy more than this, but I have to do some bag dyeing, and I needed to, uh, the right tool. This is the right tool to apply. Um, I have a little bubble today hello everyone grace mm, sometimes i think ugly bags have their charms um don don's bag is amazing dd i did too i like don's i know right i thought don's bag was beautiful i wanted to buy her bag i just didn't want to pay the price she wanted to sell it for i'll be honest uh, i've seen that bag before <laughs> have you ever had a past experience i I find goat leather durable and light. I love goat leather. Goat leather can be durable, but it can mark. Um, well, actually, no. Calf leather is what I had that marked. Goat is soft and beautiful. I have watched, but I can't imagine Dawn owning an ugly. It's not ugly. The bag she has isn't ugly. I really don't think her bag's ugly at all. Uh, she, it just doesn't her taste. She bought it thinking she could sell it, um, and it hasn't sold. And she's had it for six years. Uh, goat leather is beautiful grain. At least Hermes ones. Okay, this bag. This bag is now empty. We're going to put this in the trash. And the last three things I got out of here are, are more um, dinosaurs. What is she asking? I remember correctly. She sold... They, when they sold it, it was two ninety eight. She was asking. She bought it for one twenty five. I don't remember how much she was asking for it. But the problem I have with that bag is that um, because it is calf or a, a pony hair, a hair, a fur of some type, and it's meant to be a like a wallet on chain type style bag, friction will bald the other the side that is touching your body. And that was really the only reason. And I actually have a couple that are actually exactly almost like that bag. 
from other companies. Um, Ray Ravine, I'm behind on the lies, but did you mention your favorite loose leaf tea? Okay, Upton Tea is a. I need to see if I can find it. I'll, if I can find it, I'll do a community post. They're a wholesaler. I like them because I can. They they get. They're, they buy tea from all types of regions, and I can just mail order it, and I can get first flush tea. Um, so some of the best tea you'll ever buy, you'll never find in an actual grocery store. You're gonna have to find it in essentially through wholesalers because first flush, first pick. You know what region it's grown in, it all makes a difference. But I'm not that crazy about my you know tea choices. I I will just go with Kearney and Sons for loose leaf tea for the office. I'm using an Amistad tea right now. I do really enjoy a good um, salon tea. So I'll get tea out of India or Indian supermarkets. I like PG Tips if you're just getting plain old tea to make black tea out of a tea bag. I really like Yorkshire Gold tea also. Um, for people, three people makes a great leather bag. Oh, I did not know that. Looks like denim. You know, Deborah. That's cool. I did not know that. She's willing to negotiate. Yeah, Frozen Luxury, she's willing to negotiate. Now, I don't think she's going to let it go for 40 bucks, but she says she was willing to negotiate. Um, but Frozen, you've been getting some good deals. Um, piece of Harold Bald on the back. Yeah, that's my problem with it. But then, honestly, I never use my bags enough anyway for them to bald, but that bag, I, I have a bag very, very similar to that, like the same type of spotting um gold metallic finish so that's why i just didn't buy it when i saw it for sale like the first three times um do pony hair nope yeah yeah so i like horse hair pony hair boar hair i'm not i'm not opposed to furs or skins or um i'm not opposed to that but you have to know what you're getting into you know you have to know what that material is going to do as you wear it and use it. And if you really use it, it's going to bald. You know, that's just the nature of what happens. That's why a lot of those bags will have one side with the fur and one side with a smooth leather. Which is just smooth leather. It's just leather without the fur. Guys, guess please do share it on the community. Yeah, I'll find I'll find it, Nora. Um, I haven't used them in a while because whenever I do place an order, it's like several hundred dollars because I can't help myself. So I try not to. My friend got a channel boy bag and pony and it's balding now, sadly. Yeah, it's just gonna happen. You know? But it's, it has its own charm, guys. I mean, that look, there's a look. There's charm to everything, and the worn, worn in look has a charm. So does, you know, a little bit of balding. It's not the end of the world. You can't. It can. It can be okay. You know, I'm just happy I opened this bag finally, because I really wanted to get those beads on my bracelet. If I can get my bracelet off now, I have deer skin. Oh, I love deer skin. Um, locally made. I you know I have a kangaroo skin bag. I bought it. Um, after um, I I couldn't afford the Louis Vuitton kangaroo skin collection that Meredith was showing, and um, so I bought the kangaroo, you know, kind of like a touristy kangaroo skin, very awesome bag. Now the handles aren't that great, but the bag itself, awesome. Um, I love deer skin though. Deer skin's very soft. Deer skin is definitely a very nice leather. Um, the dots are so cute. Ooh, kangaroo skin is very, very durable. Yes, Grace, that's what Meredith is saying with that kangaroo skin is extremely durable. And kangaroos are considered a nuisance. They're not exactly um I know we we think they're cute, but apparently they're they're kind of just like a nuisance. So at least, you know, might as well use use the materials. I am moving. Hey, okay, there we go. I'm adding some beads to my net, my bracelet. So this one is a iris, my grandmother's favorite flower, or irises. This is an iris. Um, well, they're a nuisance to the farm owners. Yeah. Even worse, the longer fuck. I did not mean that was a faux bag, faux fur bag, uh, that get dreaded and matted over time i had a y2k arrow one that looked like a matted cat yeah hard to unmat those and then i got a butterfly 
this is a really pretty butterfly. Now these run about eight dollars or so, but compared to how much the other ones are, especially from like Pandora, or I really would love a troll bead bracelet, but Lord have mercy, those troll bead bracelets are pricey, guys. Um, and I'm just talking for one bracelet and one bead. We're not even trying to do much. And I got, I don't know why I got the pink paw. I got a pink paw. Um, Milo was a, um, a she, but I've had she dogs too. So it's for everybody. Um, but they're, they're native Australia. Yes. Um, they're native doesn't mean, you know, they're not nuisances. But only a certain amount are allowed to be called. Yeah, it's like deer. I mean, deer has, we have, well, deer only a certain amount can be, but we have open season all year round for, for wild um, boar and javelina because they're so destructive here. And they're not native. They're, they were brought to the Americas. They didn't, they weren't here first. Um, and they are very destructive and dangerous. Uh, female hogs um with babies you you see a baby you see a baby there's a mama you don't go near that baby you know that's just the way it is you know there i have a couple more beads eventually i'll fill up this bracelet uh you lost me at troll i have a phobia of trolls but Oh, Troll Beads. Troll Beads is a, a brand out of Denmark. It's not, I think it's Denmark. Pandora's Danish, and I think Troll Beads is Danish. Um, I don't know why it's called Troll Beads, but my sister has a bracelet from them. It's beautiful. Um, <laughs> New Zealand possums is introduced and very destructive. The cap, they're allowed, yeah. They make beautiful, warm, possible garments i heard troll and i wake up <laughs> it wasn't a troll on the on, on here it was the brand called troll beads so i think it's t-r-o-l-e-s <laughs> so i bought some different this i like this one because it's lightweight because the one i have is really heavy um and then i got so i got three different little purse straps to add to things for decoration purposes and um this one i just like the braided um i like a braid in many things so i will find a use for them i know i had a reason for buying them i just don't remember what and then um the rest of the stuff i bought is mostly keychains i love these um chunky i like yes and lightweight so it's definitely so i have to be careful with those type of metal type of perch things because my skin is so acidic i will tarnish those in a heartbeat um so i have to make sure i, I put them over my clothing um and not on my skin so anyway i really didn't expect to be on here for the whole hour and here i am an hour later still talking because that's me right it would not be jackie if we didn't talk for an hour i don't think i've done a live ever shorter than an hour to be honest so i have a white dinosaur and i have a green dinosaur and i just put these on bags randomly i just love i love them i absolutely love them i think they're so funny um it's, it's my inside joke for um because my arms my arms aren't short they're just i'm five foot four so i can't have i don't have a long reach and my husband is like five nine and those extra inches make a difference and he can reach things and he's and my sister's the same way we're both like can you can't can as i'm at the i'm the person at the grocery store asking somebody to get something off the top shelf or the second to the top shelf to be honest <laughs> chunky i like it you're a professional um so cute um yeah so did y'all catch dakin's live yesterday i'll be honest i was there but i fell asleep i'm not i'm not even kidding guys i i fell asleep to most through most of his three hour live so i'm gonna have to and i wasn't able to be on the replay cr replay crew today because i was doing training which was fun i had so much fun today uh, at the work i mean it was if my head hurt it was a lot to do they had to move one of my projects to somebody else because in order for me to do this training that was kind of on the fly um 
and I have info on, on vacation next week. Deadlines. Deadlines don't, you know, um, I'm pitching stuff up, keep trying to knock stuff down. Um, did you end up buying a rice cooker? Um, oh, yeah. Rexies are adorable. I know, right? They're so cute. I like these more than the um, Coach Rexies because the Coach Rexies are a little, um, and I like Coach Rexy, don't get me wrong, but I like the car cartoony aspect. I like the very bubbly, um, friendly looking Tyrannosaurus Rex. We know Tyrannosaurus Rex is not friendly, but I can have a friendly dinosaur if I want one. You know? I don't know the real ones. They're they're extinct for a reason. You know? Of course, alligators. Hmm. I'm I learned that I am on ALC number two. Which Rexies are those? These came out of T move stuff. So I don't know if they're supposed to dupe something or just they're just cute, cute, cartoony, um, bubbly Rexies, and I like hanging them on every bag I own. Let's be honest. Um, I like this is how I like to decorate my bags if I can, more so than any other type of charm. I like adding um, little cartoon things like this. It, it, it adds a bit of whimsy to my to my like this like this one. I really like. Let me show you. Like I like this little brown one on this bag. Totally on this bag. And there. And I'll just carry it like this. This is how I like charms. <laughs> and let's see, I have this cool green one. Let's see. I'll figure it out. So I just like putting them on things as I find. I know, right, staff? They're so cute. They're so cute. Um, so basically, this haul, this Timu haul, which will not be its own video, is mostly cleaning supplies. It's it's um, horsehair brushes for my cleaning bags and shoe inserts and cleaning materials and dyeing materials and randomness, which is what Timu is good for. Um and basically, it was the same price as if I bought stuff off of Amazon, actually cheaper. Because I, I did actually compare. Oh, good night. Much love to all. Night, Jolie. Um, so, but basically, what I was really buying in this entire haul, uh, which, I, which I really needed, were um, these shoe inserts. So I can put them. And I, I bought more than I actually needed. I needed two, three sets. And I bought six sets because they um i didn't want to have to make another order just because i bought more shoes later and um there's some shoes that i need to downsize but in the all the shoes i wear are the vivea shoes and i love them but for me i still need a little bit more because i plan much fasciitis on top of all my other health issues you know nothing's more ridiculous i've worn the same shoes my entire life like from teenagehood all the way up until like <laughs> about 10 years ago, maybe. Um, no, eight years ago, I was still wearing those shoes and then I had to put inserts in them and the shoe fit changed so much, I couldn't do it. So I had to change my shoe brand. Um, thank you. This is a Ralph Lauren men's undershirt currently on sale at Macy's. And um, yeah. I love it. I actually have like six. I have three V-necks and three crew necks all in the same different colorways. I am that girl that will wear a uniform, guys. I don't like having to think about what to wear. I just throw on a t-shirt or a shirt. I like to look the way. The only reason why I look halfway coordinated is because I tend to wear solids. And um, so as long as all the shades kind of go together, my poor sister's been trying to get me into nicer clothes my whole life. And she's just, she's given up. She's given up. And, uh, and it took Craig telling me about Ralph Lauren <laughs> for me to fall down the rabbit hole. Yeah. Um, I love V on my t-shirt. I have, um, I have crew and V. I wear them both. I like this one because the V isn't too deep. On women's shirts, sometimes the V's too deep. 
And when you're sitting in an office p- down in an open office, people walk by you looking down at you if they're talking to you and your shirt is deep, which looks fine when you're eye to eye, does not look fine on the down point view. So it is not office appropriate. Um, yay. So excited to see Alexa wanted one so bad, like in 2007. Did I show it to you? Oh, can you show? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yes, I put it right here. So I have this one channeling your inner Steve Jobs. Um, this is my Alexa bag. I had sold my base water to Linda Passos. So Apple Bowl says I wear quite a bit of Ralph Lauren. I like them a lot. But this is see, but this is men's. And why do I wear men's shirts? Well, because one, the length is consistent and the width in the chest is consistent. I can just go buy men's to excel. And be reasonably sure that in a men's shirt, it will wear. I will fit me. I cannot do that in women's clothing. I cannot. Um, so this is the um, Alexa bag. And it's really soft, squishy. The leather is beautiful. It's, it's. I love all the wrinkling on it. This is an older bag, guys. I got this for around a couple hundred dollars. I think maybe two fifty on the outside. Um, I've had it for several years. This was made in Turkey. Um and the other one I have is a, um, so this looks different than the new ones. The new ones have stiffer leather, a little bit more structure to them. Um, this one is, I love the way this looks. And it's just one of those cool little hip bags when you put the, the strap on and they bounce around. I shove it behind me a lot of the times. I just kind of, they're great. They're really great. I like the koala nose with the little turn lock, and it, and it has, like, it looks daunting because of this, but honestly, that just lets you extend how fat you want. You, you can make this go bigger. Like, you can, um, the looping, you can undo the looping here, and you can extend this so that you can actually fill this, you can really fill this up, um, if you wanted to. Um, I wore... Wow, such a great, yay! But I bought this like pre-pandemic times when Mulberry wasn't quite in the end thing. Even my base water was three hundred dollars, um, and my Darwin bag I think was a hundred dollars. So those are the three Mulberry bags I have. I love Polo, um, Ralph Lauren button downs, good quality, not too expensive, and they feel good. Yep. And this is um all cotton. All my Timu shirts are polyester. So, and I've lost a little weight, enough weight that my shirts that I normally buy too big for me anyway, are looking really bad. I looked in the photo. I took a photo, and I'm like, ooh, I should really never wear this one in public again. Um, it just looked. It's gonna become a sleep shirt. I'm gonna have a lot more sleep shirts now. I sleep in t-shirts and and long, um, pajama pants anyway. So, you know have to retire some of my pajamas speaking of sleeping guys it is almost 9 30 i did not expect to be on this long and i need to go to bed because i gotta go to work yep i know and i have training to do i have a deadline i have to do some processing tomorrow gay fun um, and once i get that delivered i'll feel better <laughs> so friday i will let y'all know um how that goes um who has the best Zumani code? Do you know? The only person I know who has Zumani is is um, Winnie BLV. Um, the bags I really, the inserts I like the most are actually Zamorga. They're just so expensive, like so expensive. But the the quality of the felt is thicker, and that's the difference. Now I don't have Zumani, but um, Winnie BLV likes hers. But you know, Meredith really promotes Bag Angels. Um, out of England, and she says they have really good um, inserts, so I don't know. Um, what insert do you need, DDB? What size bag? Um, yeah, well, you know, Jacob wasn't with us, and I always, I reserve my Wednesdays, Wednesdays, and Saturdays just for him, and um, so I had to, I felt like, well, I know what I can do. I can hang out with the people, Hang out with the friends. I could unbox this, or I could. I originally, I was just going to film, and then I was like, you know what? I'll just go live. It's more fun um, for me. <laughs> Let's be honest. Uh, some more gets expensive. The shipping alone is crazy insane. But I have two of them, and they are really good. Um, but I don't, I would have to be a super special bag for me to buy that. 
Um, I had bought one of the inserts for my Totally GM um, LV bag that I don't have anymore. But I had bought that insert for that. And I bought one for my long shop because long shops all need them. Not to hell you. Okay. Um, so anyway, I only use some Morga. Craig has some. You have great taste, sir. Yeah. So Morga is some excellent. If you're going to. It depends on the bag you're putting it in. And honestly, uh, inserts are one of those things I want to get in neutral colors. As neutral as possible. Because I want. If, if I can get them in a natural color, I really would. Because um, I don't want any chance of dye transfer. Especially if you live in any kind of humid place. And that's the downfall of getting um, inserts from like Amazon or like from Timu because um, you don't know how the color fasting is done. And most polyester or most felts aren't actually felt anymore. Felt is actually a fur product. Most felt inserts, I'll say it's felt. It's actually just polyester. Um, the shipping for Zaboni is high. Um, the shipping for Samorga is insane. Um, they're both high. So I don't know. I haven't tried handbag angels yet that um, Meredith keeps talking about, but I might someday. Um, I try not to buy bags that require inserts just because that's why everything I have is in a pouch. I think I'm missing. Did I buy two of these? I thought I showed two of these. Did I already drop? I can't already have lost something. Okay, yes, I can. Don't. Anyway, I'm getting off because I'll keep talking because I always talk. Um, I can talk to air. My poor husband, by the way, thanks you guys greatly because me talking to you means he has peace and quiet and he doesn't have to listen to me talk about bags for hours and hours. Um, he suffers enough with me having to buy them all the time. Um, he doesn't have to suffer listening to me talk about them. Um, and leave. So anyway. Good night, good night, good night, good night. Thank you for hanging out with me. I'll see y'all Friday. Have a great day. Bye. Our great evening and wonderful Thursday. And stay safe. Bye, guys.